Hello everyone, I'm Sylvia, I'm from Malaysia, and she's Jenny, she's from Vietnam. Um, both of us met when she entered to our company called Lone Street one and a half years ago, and this is the first time that both of us are collaborating together on stage, and we are very happy to be here. So today we are going to talk about something a bit lightweighted. It's about building interactive UX elements using scalable vector graphics SVG. And we want to touch about how we have been refactoring fatty SVG codes to make it developer friendly. And we also want to touch about the things that SVG can contribute to making uh, to the interactivity of the web. So there are the two things we want to focus on today. We had this software engineering principles like DRY to guide us and we know that it is important and it should influence the way how we write our code. Our projects in Lone Street caters a lot about performance issue and if the codes are not dry enough, my company's code will be a mess. So from quoting from a senior, that code, if um, other developer come and uh, continue making our code, it's like, it's like, it's going to make them cry. So uh, SVG um, are good for describing 2D graphics on the application. However, I find that it is very hard to use SVG because it itself is a very big chunk of code. So hard coding it will, be, will lengthen the page rendering time and, and the marketing department is going to complain because it affects the SEO page ranking. So Jenny knows how to, how to, make a, how to put SVG in Ruby on Rails. Uh, so she will take you through from here. Um, yes. Um, so I will show you the small demo about the draw the symbol chart uh, with a different way to the implement. So you can see uh, I implement the pie chart with uh, two way. The one way I using the CDN and another way I was using the FG. So you can see the in the FG I have two way logged into the first way I will log in directly in the HTML file and the second way I will use the rail to define the method to in uh, to render it in line the HTML code. So um, the three of square implementation will show the the same results. Uh, in this case, CSS and logging FVG directly only suitable for static data, so the data cannot be the altered. So inline render will solve for problem logging the dynamic data. Um, so I'm so in the CSS way, I define a missing to the raw the by chart. So if you don't, I mean, if you don't define the missing in the CSS, so you you can imagine like your CSS will duplicate and you duplicate a lot of time and your CSS will be the messy. So as you can see, I I send in the missing missing by I define I send the five parameter. It means when you call it to log the CSS, you have to include the five parameter also. So, um, so uh, when you call it in the HTML, you only just uh, define a, a this part and the other CX in la inside the HTML. Also, uh, that's way only possible for static data. Um, so the next I'm so in is the FBG style. Uh, I logged in directly in the HTML. The FVG is using the HTML file syntax. Also, one of uh, the advantage of using this way is the it uh, the hard code. Uh, in the in, in the example, I only saw the um, only saw the small demo. But what if your project uh, require a lot, a lot, a lot? Uh, a lot of the by chart or a lot of the FVG photo or FVG image also. So you have to duplicate this code several time. That means the result will be a big, big fake code in the doc HTML file, uh, doc HTML ERB file. So to solve this solution, I uh, 
uh, to slow this is you can uh, so I define the method in real to implement in implement in like render form so and and this method I define in the action in the helper this is the helper method I define so this method uh, you have to take the the FVG file and the value you want to import for the FVG so uh, the FVG file is required and all the param is uh, optional uh, to back the file I using the no key key and then I chip I, I, I check if the if it has the baram sys I, I will add the sys inside and I check the value if the uh, any attribute will be implemented. So as you can see um, I only check the one line to render the FVG file FVG in the HTML file. So if we have for the HTML file you will be cleaner then. So Basically, what she's saying that the inline render is the solution for making SVG inside inside uh, Ruby on Rails. So uh, I know that there are some developers that do not like to use SVGs because basically they are really hard to use. And after today's presentation, I hope you find it easier because SVG got a lot of advantages. Uh, for example, like the name it bears, scalable vector graphics. It's scalable, so no matter where the app is open. Um, on a desktop or a mobile or a or a, or a POS, POS system, uh, the image will not be jagged. It is still in good shape. That is one thing that static images is limited to, and it is important for the like brand logos to be resolution independent because uh, it's a brand. For websites that want to rank on search engines, SVG can be a help because. Uh, because the images are code, so unlike a JPEG or PNG, which the text are already embedded as pixels, the text in SVG images can actually be crawled by search engines. So, for example, like uh, infographics, you can put content in the images, and Google will know what the content is about. A few examples of what we can do with SVG: it can be used to. It can be used to uh, improve the visual effects on S UX elements. For example, the animations, I'm not very sure why the animations are not showing. But anyway, the animations on the brand logo or as a creative graphic for, or as a creative graphic to story tell the website content. And if you're feeling a, bit, a little bit more adventurous, um, SVG along with JavaScript can build a 2D game as well. So the last one, I will show you the demo I draw my partner by FPG. So <laughs> uh, I think the FPG is uh, easy to apply. So <laughs> so I mean, let's use FPG if, if you can, so if possible. So not need to use more BNG file in to look for your project. That is all from Jenny and I. Thank you very much for listening. I, I will post out the course on, on the GitHub so you can get my code. So thank you very much.